<laughs> getting this doggone thing to work. Okay, here we go. So today, what the focus is for today is we're going to look at mindfulness. Mindfulness has been around for thousands of years. So it's not that it's something new. Uh, it's just kind of been kind of realized. And the nice part about mindfulness is we all have it. It's not anything that we have to go um, out and purchase. So what we're going to do today in the workshop, we're going to look at grounding. And that's what we were doing. We are just doing some exercises in grounding. What you did there, you were grounding yourselves in the present moment. I don't know if you've heard of them talking about the present moment. It used to kind of intrigue me. What is this present moment thing? That, anyway, well, that's what we were doing. We're just being present in a safe way. So the second part of the, of the workshop will be on reflecting. So what, we're, what we did today, just now, that was to, re, to release some of the anxiety that's, that's happening that we've come into the room with. But what about a week from now? What about when I have to go and do something two weeks from now? And it's the same thing. So that's where we are going to use a second exercise to reflect on that. So when that event comes up, that it'll be different for us. Rather than reacting to that event, we'll be able to respond more. So those are the two pieces that I'd like to cover. And if we don't get them done, we'll maybe have to come back again. <laughs> so this is what grounding means. Grounding is just this. This little guy here, what he's done, and this is what we just did, is we just moved our thoughts, we have thoughts and emotions, and if we don't give them a place to go, what they'll do, they'll just build and build. So that's grounding right there. That's really an important slide. <coughs> we just keep that slide in mind. That's really the deal. We just ground, we stop and drop. And then the <coughs> next one, this is reflection. So now I'll start to explain that mindfulness has three qualities to it. It has attention, intention, and reflection. Probably 80% of our work is here in the attention part of it. Intention, that's where, when I said, may my breath be, <coughs> may my breath be deep. So I switch my attention to my belly. And then, I gave an intention. May my breath be deep. So now I'm in control. Rather than what's going on in my, my brain, where it wants to go, where it wants to go, now I'm in control. <coughs> and this is basically what mindfulness is. If we have that ongoing issue, whenever I meet Bill, I always get upset. <coughs> That's where we do the reflection. That's for future anxiety that we might be experiencing. This is probably maybe 5% of our work. This is maybe 10 or 15, but this is 80%. It's learning to pay attention in a very safe and caring way. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so today we're starting at, um, at two plus and before break, we're going to look at mindfulness and anxiety. And then after break, we're going to look at listening and core values. Those are going to be helpful for the grounding that we just did. That was physical grounding. But what about emotional grounding? How do we ground ourselves emotionally? That's where the core values come in. When I have a sense that this is Ross. I know this about Ross. This is what Ross values. That gives me a place to come home to. So that kind of acts as a beacon. My friend Gary did a lot of sailing. And so I like to use some of, some of the sailing um, metaphors and whatnot. So that can be like an anchor. Our values can be our anchor. You know, when life is, is rough and turbulent and whatnot, it's like, holy cow, where do I, where do I go? What, what, are my, what are my values? When we've already reflected and we know that the core, this is my core value, that's our homecoming. 
yeah, this really stinks, but this is this is where our, where I feel safe and and secure. So those are the two two. One is for grounding, just to release anxiety physically, emotionally, in the present moment. But the other one is for for down the road, and also in the present moment. Can you give an example of what a value is? Because sometimes. Yeah, if in your, in your notes. It's in the notes, okay. Yeah, but if you, you go in your. Give an example of a value. You integrity. May have or? Yeah, integrity is, is uh, a big one for me. Mm -hmm. I'm, if you like, it, it's been recommended that I share some of my story. And so uh, when I was putting together this workshop, I started looking back over my my life, and I really saw how important values were. And how they've been, how they have been guiding me. I didn't really think about it so much, but it's because with Self Help Alliance, I looked at their mission statement. Their mission statement is to have value that we're all of value. So that's huge. So it's when I feel valued, when I feel connected, things are different. So anyway, I'll be I'll be showing some of that later. But if, uh, just in the interest of time, so integrity was was uh, was mine. I started at 25. I wanted to become a better person. You know, I was married, had a little baby, and uh, you know, like uh, I wanted to become a better person. So I started out of my you know packed up my bag of whatever, and I started you know started on that journey. And it's been it's been a beautiful journey. It's been tough, uh, and I'm really really still on it. But yeah, it really started, yeah. I would say intentionality, spirituality started for me at 20, 24, 25. Any more questions? Okay, this is the Guelph uh, Self-Help Alliance. Uh, the mission is, Self-Help Alliance mission is to be guided by its recovery values, principles that become recognized as leaders in the mental health and addiction recovery, peer support and self-help. <coughs> This is the one that I was just mentioning. The vision, a vision of a society in which people are valued. Where people are of value. They're honored for their uniqueness. So what I've done is I've taken that value <coughs> piece and that will be the second half of the workshop for us. Uh, just from kind of in simplicity, value, <coughs> honored and uniqueness. Um, value means to be a valuable, uh, of Oops, I got to correct that slide. <laughs> uh, honored is to be respected. And uniqueness is that we're all unique. But a lot of this, I think, is a two-way street. So if I walk into a certain situation, that situation I may not be respected. But I think there's something that happens. If I have that inner respect, I think there's a different dimension that happens. So the more that I value myself and I respect myself, I think at a different level that gets conveyed. So in some ways, the work really begins here. And that's where the beauty of mindfulness comes in. You learn to stop, have those quiet times, come into presence, and then when we're safe and grounded, then we can invite some of that anxiety to come up. You know, what is it that you need? Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, quiet time, we already did the, the first quiet time. Well, we have a bunch of them today. Uh, exercises, we've got exercises for mindful listening, connecting, and core values. This is an important slide for me in that if I just stand up here all, all afternoon and talk, the best case scenario is, is um, there might be about 8% of what I say that gets conveyed. But if you get involved with me, do the exercises, become interested, there's a chance that you'll walk away with over 80% retention. Your time's valuable. So that's the encouragement. And that's why I've, I've introduced these quiet times. We can talk about it a lot, but unless we actually experience it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't stick so well. 
Okay, uh, this is kind of my slogan, uh, yes we can, and uh, that's what I feel right here with what Self-Help Alliance is doing. It's like, we're not in this alone. It's like, yes, we can. We're all in this room together, so we're not alone. I'm here to support you, you're here, you're supporting me by coming. And so there's a different feeling about that. It's just, yes, we can. And I'll explain more about that later. And again, as it says here, everything is optional. It has to be comfortable and right for you. Uh, guidelines, you can't do it wrong. Um, disclaimer, um, uh, in order to not get too wordy, things have been generalized in some ways. Uh, and all the material here is for educational. It's not to consider that this takes the place of professional um, advice or treatment. And my goal today is to support you. And I want the material I give you to be practical. And I want it to be fun. I want it to be enjoyable. The mind likes it when, it's, when there's some fun, when there's some energy there. You know, it's a different energy. 